Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today I want to be discussing a touchy subject that I know a lot of people are going to be pissed about. Um, because I really shouldn't be talking about this all too much because people love their League of Legends and Dota 2s. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about the fact that whenever, whenever I live stream any kind of Heroes of the Storm, people always, always, always come to the stream chat and ask, Hey Loco, do you think that Heroes of the Storm will kill League of Legends and Dota 2 and Smite and all the other MOBAs out there. And do you think this will rise to the top and become the one ring to rule them all and, you know, the, all that sort of shenanigans? And in this video I want to be discussing that and my very short answer is nope. <laughs> That's my very short answer right there. Um, there is absolutely no way that Heroes of the Storm is going to absolutely demolish League of Legends and Dota 2. Um, and in this video, I'm going to give you my uh, my thoughts a little bit, a um, bit more on the subject. Um, so hopefully you'll see where I'm coming from. So for anyone who has been playing any kind of MMORPG in the last 10 years, you will know that whenever a new MMO comes out, such as maybe like a recently, what was it, like Star Wars The Old Republic and Guild Wars 2 and... Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of MMOs out there, but basically every single time a good new MMO comes out People will be like, okay, will this be the World of Warcraft killer? And it turns out that no No, World of Warcraft is still far and away the biggest MMO RPG And sure the other ones also have their, their piece of the pie to, so to say, but you know, World of Warcraft is simply too big too much of an established fan base, and it's just never really going anywhere. Um, and I would be surprised if it gets killed by any other game than maybe World of Warcraft 2, but that's a whole different subject. Um, and people seem to be, whenever a new MMO RPG gets announced and a big one, like a big company behind it, um, people always seem to assume that it is going to demolish the World of Warcraft um, crowd that is currently there and everyone is going to move over. The same thing is sort of happening right now to League of Legends and Dota 2, because obviously Heroes of the Storm is coming out, and... Well, it's not, it's not gonna come out, it doesn't have a release date yet, but it is, it is coming. And people are assuming that everyone from League of Legends and Dota 2 are going to move over to Heroes of the Storm. Now... I... No, no, it's just, it's just not going to happen. The games are so, so, so incredibly big, like League of Legends being far and away the biggest game that is out there currently, if you don't, you know, take into account all these Facebook games and whatever whatever Candy Crush you have and whatnot, but uh, the, the, the game is absolutely enormous. So for a game that size to die out, which I hope it sincerely does not, by the way, I really enjoy those games. Um, but for games like that to die out, you gotta understand that there is like billion dollar companies behind them, okay? Like the, the, the people that are behind those games are a lot smarter than pretty much all of us. I, I basically can only say from my perspective what I see over the years and I, I can just give you my opinion, but the people are really smart that work there and they have a lot of money. So if they notice that their game is declining, they will find out ways to get it back to the original state, okay? What I maybe do see Heroes of the Storm do, because it's, it might actually take a couple players from League of Legends and Dota and, you know, it might take a couple casual players that are just roaming around to different games. Uh, but what I might see Heroes of the Storm do is maybe pull people in from other Blizzard games. So let's say people in World of Warcraft and Hearthstone also might want to give, you know, Heroes of the Storm a try. Because, well, they're already familiar with the genre, they already know how the game is run because of League of Legends and Dota and Smite and whatnot. Um, and, and they will give it a try, but I would be very, very, very surprised if Heroes of the Storm will grow bigger than League of Legends and Dota 2, simply for the fact that the established fan bases are not going anywhere. I have yet to meet a Heroes of the St or I have yet to meet a League of Legends player that is super excited for Heroes of the Storm because... Well, it's Heroes of the Storm. Like, the, the, game, the games are already out there in very similar fashion. And, um, you know, I, 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 would, I would be extremely surprised. Now, another thing to, uh, to touch upon this is that the biggest reason why League of Legends and Dota 2 are so big right now is simply for the fact that the companies behind them have been supporting them so hard. Like, if you compare the amount of... Or, well, I, I don't know if you can compare the amount of money, but if you compare, for example, how much um, League of Legends and, and Valve have been you know, investing into their own tournaments, such as like, you know, the big League of Legends tournaments and such as the Dota 2 tournaments that are on pretty much every single day, um, at, as far as League of Legends go, I don't know exactly how Dota 2 runs it, but if you can notice how the production is done on those live streams and on those, you know, tournaments and how it's run and everything, it is much higher quality than anything Blizzard Entertainment have put on. And then, you gotta, you, you gotta know that I am a huge Blizzard fanboy coming from this, and 
you know, like the, the League of Legends tournament, it is much higher quality than WCS. You know, don't don't shoot me down for that. It's just it's just a fact. Uh, whenever I check it out um, on Twitch TV, I am always impressed by the way that it's run and with very minimal downtime, always something good going on. Even though I don't really understand the game that well, I'm actually sitting on the edge of my seat because the sound guy is actually doing its job very well. The the, the commentators are going crazy and the crowd shots and everything. You know, it's it's just being ran perfectly, and that is that is one of the main reasons why these games got so big in the first place. Even if people wouldn't play League of Legends anymore, you know, even if people wouldn't play Dota 2 anymore, people would still tune in for these tournaments, which is already happening to StarCraft 2, you know, StarCraft 2, a lot of people don't even play the game, they're just watching the game because they love it. And I see a similar thing um, maybe happening to Heroes of the Storm where it gets a piece of the pie, but it's really gonna come down to Blizzard Entertainment if they wanna actually start going up against the likes of Dota 2, against the likes of League of Legends and Smite, uh, simply for the fact that those companies are already having an established fan base, they already have an established tournament scene, and they are definitely knowing what they are doing, and they have a lot of money available, which is which is also a nice little uh, nice little addition. So those are my thoughts on this subject. In short, I do not think that Heroes of the Storm will anytime soon beat League of Legends and Dota 2. Uh, please let me know your thoughts on this subject as well, right below that like button in the comment section below. Do you think that League of Legends will go down anytime soon? You know, if you do, I would be extremely surprised because that's not really gonna happen. Um, or do you think that Heroes of the Storm will not even get a percentage of the fan base? Let me know in the comment section. I wanna thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one.